Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review on three new foundations. Well, some are new. Um, yeah, I think most of them are new or newish foundations that I've been testing recently. I wanted to give you my thoughts on. I always find the video reviews are so much easier for foundation rather than having to like type out all my thoughts. So let's get started with the first one, which is the It Cosmetics CC Cream Illumination. So I have the regular It Cosmetics CC Cream, the one that's not illuminated, and I have them both in the shade Fair. So the color matches perfect for me. And I wasn't sure kind of what to expect from this one, because it said illumination and it has like a little like, kind of like a hologram effect at the top of the um, foundation. And I thought to myself, it's probably gonna be really shimmery and very glowy and I don't know how this is gonna work on my oily skin. So I kind of put it off for a little bit and then I kind of gave it a go one day on my way to work. I was getting ready to go to work, I just grabbed it and put it on and it was amazing. So I've shown it on my like Snapchat, I've shown it on my Instagram, kind of the, the finished look of it. And it is, it gives like this natural matte finish, though still very, it has shimmer in it, so it has this like radiant glow to it. Now some people commented that it is like too glittery or shimmery for them. I don't find that to be the case. It's actually perfect for me, so I love the kind of shimmer that it has in it, and it really works well on my skin. And I, even after like seven or eight hours of using it, it still looks, I don't need to use powder, I don't need to touch up, it lasts all day. It's pretty much a full coverage, it says full coverage, and you can get like a lot of coverage out of this. And I don't find that it's too shimmery at all for me. It still gives like this kind of oddly natural matte like finish, though it's very kind of shimmery and luminous. So it really works well for my um, oily skin. So highly recommend trying this one out if it's kind of been on your radar or you like illuminating foundations. I love a lot of it cosmetics products. I've reviewed a ton of their stuff on the blog and I love a ton of their um, products. Second is new from Eve Loam and it's the Sheer Radiance Oil Free Foundation. So in the shade Alabaster. So if you have used the other Eve Loam foundations, you probably won't be the same shade because this alabaster shade is much is a little bit deeper than her original alabaster shade because her original shade range for her foundations was quite limited. <laughs> it was like fair, light, medium. Just didn't have a broad range. So she changed that with this new foundation launch and she wanted to incorporate, so the, the, the shade range goes from like fair to deep and she wanted to incorporate you know, as many skin tones as she could into the range, but not make it like 20 shades long. So she narrowed it down to 12 shades. So as a result, she said like some of the shades that they're used to like the alabaster and stuff had to be tweaked a little bit to allow for like the 12 shades to be covered. But I actually like this shade a little bit better. The alabaster, the ones in the old formulation is very, very pale and great for me in the winter, but I do like this one. It's just like a hint more color. And so it's an oil-free foundation. I found that it gives a very natural matte finish, but because it says sheer radiance, there is somewhat of that glow to the foundation. So it's not like a velvety matte where it's like very flat and kind of looks powdered. It has this like lit from within glowy look to it, which is really nice. And I find that the only thing I found was I wore it on a very hot day and right around like hour seven or eight, I began to see a little bit of separation like in my T-zone, but I figured it was from the hot weather because I had worn a few other foundations in a similar time frame when it was really hot and they all started separating and they don't tend to separate on me. So I think it was the weather. So I'm gonna be testing this out as well as into the cooler weather to see if it still does that. Um, but other than that, I needed to use powder like once throughout the day no more than once and then some days not even at all so it's a gorgeous kind of like sheer to medium but can be built up to be you know a little more than medium it's not going to be like full coverage but uh really new really nice new launch from eve loam i've been enjoying that and the final one is from la prairie and it is the skin caviar concealer foundation and sunscreen spf 15 so it has spf 15 in it and 
I believe this is a new, it is a new launch, but I think it's like a reformulation or something because they did have, La Prairie did have a skin caviar foundation, I think. I mean, I'm like imagining that, but in my head, I think they did. Anyway, this one is, you know, I received this and I wasn't, I kind of put it to the side on my testing table and I really wasn't quite sure what to think about it because it's a, obviously it's a skincare based foundation and the Seed Caviar line is a really strong anti-aging line. I mean, I love their um, sleeping mask, it's amazing. And their products are like cult classics, the um, Skin Caviar line. But I wasn't sure if this was gonna be designed more for like more mature skin, drier skin. So it kind of took me a little bit to kind of like, all right, maybe I'll try it. So I ended up trying it one day on a weekend and I kind of dabbed it on all over and within just a few hours I was like, it was like cakey and it was pulling on my pores and everything and I was like, I put on way too much. I tend to be like a little bit heavy handed when I put on foundation and when I like first test out foundation, I tend to be really heavy handed with it. I don't know why. So the next day I changed it up and just did like a little dot, 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 dot and then kind of buffed it in with a buffing brush. Flawless. It was absolutely beautiful. It gives like a very radiant finish. So, but I was surprised that I only needed to touch up with powder once throughout the whole day. So surprisingly, while well, it give this kind of like nice, fresh dewiness to the skin, there was no like addition. It didn't make me additionally oily or greasy throughout the day, which I thought was really surprising considering most kind of dewy foundations do that for me. So I think this would work for like a bunch of different skin types because like I said, I mean, it's a really dewy, fresh foundation. And cause it looks like that, like when I apply it, it has like medium coverage, but if you buff it out, it can be very sheer, but it can be built up to almost full coverage. But I find that it kind of gives that like, just had a facial radiant dewy glow. Do you know what I'm saying? And so that's the kind of finish that it gives. And I just, I mean, like I said, touched up with powder once. I didn't set it with powder either, which was surprising as well. And I like that it has the concealer in the top, though this concealer is full coverage. Like, I was using it with my finger and just kind of like, you know, scooping it out and putting it on and way too much. So what I found works best is if you just take it with your finger and I warm it up on the back of my hand. And then once it's kind of very emollient, then I kind of like work it in to the skin and that works really, really well. And then it just kind of like, almost like just melts right into the skin. But if you just kind of like swipe it and put it right on, it needs that kind of warming up um, with, you know, kind of the body heat or your, your fingers. But I love that it comes with both, like a foundation and a concealer. So it kind of like kills two birds with one stone. And I'm using the shade Tender Ivory. So those are my three new foundations that I've been testing and actually really enjoyed all three of these. Sometimes some of my foundations that I try are a hit, some are a miss, but these are all a hit and I've been enjoying all of them. So um, if you have any questions, leave them below in the comment section and I will talk to you guys soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.